Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to Ruin Month. That's right, it is now officially July, which is the release month for the upcoming Ruin DLC for Security Breach. No release date for it just yet, um, pfft, Steel Wolves taking their time, but surely we're gonna be getting it soon. But besides the exciting announcement of Ruin Month, we got a whole bunch of other FNAF news to talk about, mainly movie news, some brand new Security Breach pop figures, some book news, even FNAF AR might be coming back, it's, it's gonna be a crazy video, all right? But without further ado, if you wanna stay up to date with everything going on, with FNAF scroll down tickle that subscribe button and let's hop right into it we got the official description for the eighth entry in the tales from the pizza plex book series b72 it goes as followed how do you know what's imagined and what's not after spending most of his life trying to become an animatronic billy wakes up in the hospital to an entirely new reality travis can't shake the feeling that something eerily familiar is haunting him and nightmares makes rory's day and nights blend together until it's hard to tell what's what. It was a bit weird because we did get previews of the B-72 story in this book not too long ago before the description came out, but thankfully now we've got the official description. The whole book comes out on the 3rd of October. Next up, let's move on to some U2's merchandise. They showed off a teaser for their upcoming flocked Foxy figure, and if you remember not too long ago, we got a look at a flocked Freddy figure, so it seems like the whole FNAF 1 gang is going to be getting flocked variants. Over on their TikTok, U2 showed off some brand new Sun and Moon plushies, which are technically new, but they do reuse their designs from their uh, shoulder riders. And these guys were to promote their upcoming wave of brand new FNAF plushies and a sun and moon nightlight dropping on July 11th. And as you can see, the plushies in this wave are Vanny, Glamrock, Chica, Roxanne, Monty, and those two sun and moon plushies. And like I said, there's a sun nightlight. Don't know why, but it's kind of neat. <laughs> Once again, these guys drop on July 11th. Doesn't look like they have a limited time release, which is pretty amazing. We've been getting that for the past couple of FNAF drops. And speaking of upcoming FNAF drops, let's now move on to some of Funko's brand new reveals from Scarlet Joker. Because they were able to leak to us that an upcoming Freddy Fazbear Pop and Tea bundle is coming out with a variant of the pop. We're going to be getting a Funko Soda featuring the sun with a chase variant. Most likely that chase variant is going to be the moon. I don't imagine what else it would would be. And lastly, seems like we're going to be getting some line of merchandise themed around Frost Plus Trap from FNAF AR. Exclusive to Walmart, not entirely sure what this merchandise is, if it's a figure, a plushie, it's probably one of those two. And lastly, for Funko, we got the news that everyone's been waiting for, Security Breach Funko Pops. Because earlier today, we got revealed to us the Sun and Moon Funko Pop exclusive to Hot Topic. A very interesting approach for this daycare attendant figure, looks like they've fused together both versions of the sun and the moon into one figure definitely not what they did with the action figure so it's a little confusing but honestly i think this figure looks fantastic i really do hope funko decides to make other security breach funko pops i mean how cool would it be to see the glam rocks burn trap maybe even the blob dj music man come on these they've got those big pops they can do those guys but i'd love to know what are your thoughts on the sun and moon funko pop what other security breach characters do you want to see get made into pops moving on now to some game news we've got quite a few FNAF titles on sale right now, actually as part of Steam's uh, summer sale event. You got Security Breach half off, perfect time to get it before the DLC comes out this month. Help Wanted and its DLC of Curse of Dreadbear are both half off as well. And finally, we got Pop Goes Arcade, a game in the Fazbear Fanverse initiative that is 15% off. So if you don't own any of those games on Steam, now is probably the perfect time to get them. And speaking of games, let's talk about FNAF AR because we got some very confusing, intriguing news because this GIF appeared on a Lumix's website. This is entirely brand new. It features the player wearing the mask, baby lurking behind, and then jump scaring the player. It doesn't seem like this is any gameplay footage from FNAF AR, so I highly doubt this is teasing a new update. We did get yet another gif of Ballora crawling and jump scaring the player as well. I believe, if I remember correctly, that's her animation from the Dark Circus Encore DLC. And lastly, for our third and final gif, we got Shadow Bonnie using his occlusion technology, emerging from behind a wall. I believe Shadow Bonnie Bonnie's occlusion technology where, once again, he can be behind objects and then kind of phase through them. That was planned a while back. I don't know if it ever actually came to the game. I think if it did, it was only on Android because I know I definitely don't have it. But certainly some very interesting new GIFs and footage for FNAF AR. Once again, doesn't seem like any of these are really gameplay besides Shadow Bonnie's one. And even then, you can see some leftover UI towards the, you know, left side of the screen. So that leads many people to believe this is just for, like, promotional reasons to add to 
to Illumix's portfolio of stuff they've worked on, stuff they can do with AR tech. Even most of these gifts were featured on their Five Nights case study page, which again, if you look at it, just looks like a portfolio for the game. So unfortunately, doesn't seem like a new FNAF AR update is coming, but I kind of hope a new one is. This is the first time in a long time we've seen Illumix do anything with FNAF AR, and it would just really suck if they dropped these brand new gifts and didn't touch the game. But I'm hopeful they're going to come back to the game, but quite frankly, as more time goes on, that seems less and less likely. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on these gifts? Do you want to see FNAF AR make a comeback? And now let's move on to a whole bunch of FNAF movie news. First up, you may remember not too long ago, we got the news that a novel based on the film was going to be coming out in December. Well, we got the cover for that book and yeah, that looks like a cover for the FNAF movie. The official movie novel, Five Nights at Freddy's, from the New York Times bestselling author Scott Cawthon, Seth Kudback, Emma Tammy. All three of them being writers for the actual film, and then the adaptation is being written by Andrea Wagner, who's worked on a whole bunch of other FNAF books. Like I said, this comes out on December 5th, so it's gonna be interesting to read the story and the events of the movie instead of seeing it visually on screen. Next up, some very exciting news. We got a couple FNAF banners being spotted at Universal Studios Hollywood. This is simply just to promote the upcoming film releasing in theaters and on Peacock October 27th. However, there are a lot of people who are really hoping we get some sort of FNAF themed attraction at Universal Studios again to promote the film. I think if the movie does well, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Universal puts in a either temporary or, you know, maybe permanent attraction at their resort. That'd be really cool. I'd love to know if you've been to Universal. Have you seen these banners? What would you like to see as an attraction at Universal if they do make one? Next up, we got Jason Blum talking about the FNAF movie development in a recent interview with IGN. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'll leave the article linked down below if you wanna go check it out for yourself, but I do have one quote I wanna touch upon, and that is Jason Blum saying, everyone said we could never get this movie done, including, by the way, internally in my company. I was made fun of for pursuing this, this thing that could never happen. And that always lights a fire under me to say, I bet I can do this. Just a really sweet quote. It's really amazing to see just how doubtful so many people were of Scott, of Jason, of the movie team. And yet here we are a couple months from release now, and the movie looks incredible. It's a really insightful, heartfelt interview. Again, if you want to read it, it'll be linked down below. Next up, we got a few more set photos and behind the scenes for the FNAF film. First up, we got Piper Rubio with Cheese Trap. We got a few extended shots of William Afton being played by Matthew Lillard. Vanessa Shelley, that is her official name in the film, being played by Elizabeth Lale, as well as Mike being played by Josh Hutcherson. Another shot of Josh Hutcherson, you may remember this in the short trailer we looked at not too long ago, and this is of course the scene where he tucks in Abby being played by Piper Rubio. And speaking of Abby, here's another shot of her inside the car, it seems like when they first pull up to Freddy Fazbear's pizza place. You can even see the stuffed teddy bear she's gonna bring inside, possibly foreshadowing her connection with the animatronics. An extended shot of Mike in his house on the phone, asking William Afton, hey, is the security job still available? Another extended shot of Michael walking up to his house, noticing the notice of delinquency, I believe it is on his door. As most people have speculated at this point, this is most likely because of that guy he beats up uh, at the mall in the water fountain. A lot of people assume that was his job before he gets the gig at Freddy's, then he loses it, he gets this delinquency notice, he's short on money, he needs the money, he calls William, he gets money because he gets the job at Freddy's. And lastly, for extended shots, we get a shot of Mike driving his car up to his house. This we saw at the beginning of the official trailer. And now for our final movie topic for today and our final news topic overall for today today's FNAF news video, we got a couple photos of the Freddy Fazbear suit being tested at Jim Henson's Creature Shop. In this first photo, you can see Freddy sitting down on a stool. Looks like he's about to <laughs> shoot some fire wisdom towards us. And then I said, hor, 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 and they all laughed. You can see director Emma Tammy in the background inspecting the suit, making sure it looks all good for shooting. In this second photo, you can see the lovely person underneath the suit testing it, make sure it works all well. This is actor Justin Michael Terry. And with these brand new photos, it looks like he had an absolute blast testing this suit. I would kill to be in his position right now. I mean, just look at these photos. Look at Freddy Fazbear, he's real. Really crazy to think that that suit is out there right now. Really crazy to think that we're gonna be seeing it in only a couple months on the big screen. These are probably some of the coolest photos we've ever gotten for the entire film. I mean, 
I really just can't get over it. Look at the freaking dude. They absolutely nailed how the suit looks. He looks identical to what Freddy looks like in the game. He's got so much expression to him with the eyebrows, with the mouth. And lastly, for photos, we got Justin doing some poses with the Freddy torso and legs on. That is really crazy to see. It's also crazy to take a look at just how many mechanisms are under that suit. I mean, think about it. They got to do a lot of activities underneath that suit. Also worth noting, people have pointed out in the first picture in Inside a display case, you can see a couple miniature figures of Chica and Bonnie, looking strikingly similar to the figures we saw in employee making at Jim Henson's Creature Shop not too long ago, I believe last year. I believe that was the time we first found out Jim Henson's Creature Shop was working on the film with the suits, making the suits, and I mean, just looking at now, a year later, They've knocked it out of the park, man. So I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the suits? What are your thoughts on all the movie news, all the book news, the merchandise news, the security breach pops, maybe FNAF AR coming back, everything we've talked about. And that's gonna do it for this FNAF news video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.